G'day, I'm George Bray from Fremantle Permaculture. We're a group of individuals aiming for a greener, more sustainable Fremantle. We're into grassroots education and sharing our skills, tools and resources for a more ecological community all round. And here's how some of our members are growing locally. You can create resilient food landscapes anywhere in the world, but you will need to employ different strategies depending on the climate. We are blessed with the world's most gutless sand, so that's our starting point. For us the growing seasons are almost inverted. We can do a lot of our growing in the cool weather when the rain is available um, and think about summer as a relatively leaner time. My name is May Ring and I have uh, converted my property into a productive backyard garden. I've also converted my swimming pool which was an energy guzzler into a pond. I have fish in there and I use plants to filter the rainwater. I personally don't like fresh figs, so I keep them for, for the winter to have some dry fruits to eat. And I actually dry them in the car. Our sandy soils don't have the kind of capacity to hold water that heavier soils do. We have to actually water much more regularly and in a short way than watering, say, twice a week for a long time because our soils just simply aren't going to hold that water after a certain point, it's just going to leach to the groundwater. We've got evaporation rates that are extraordinary, so a six metre patch of garden when exposed to that sunshine can lose up to 300 litres of water from that patch just from evaporation in the, in the middle of our summers. So we've got some pretty significant conditions to be dealing with here. Yeah. By bringing people together you can set up community-based systems that make it easier for people to have that in their own backyards. There are lots of high energy versions of, of local organic gardening. What we need to encourage are the kinds of low energy skills that mean that people can produce food locally using relatively lower water than industrial agriculture, relatively lower nutrient levels and resources than industrial agriculture, in order that our local communities become hubs of, of mutual aid, of skill sharing, of uh, the kinds of skills that mean that people can produce for their needs and for their neighbours' needs uh, where they are. So with a little bit of permaculture knowledge, it's, it's totally possible to transform that and create systems that support you to get through those conditions.